Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to look ahead to the next decent chance of some rain, some areas of flooding, plus those uh, uh, drought conditions. And this, this area right in here does look to uh, develop over the next couple days. That's kind of a hot spot. Here we are in the Eastern Pacific, Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama here. So we're going to zoom down into that, show you some of the modeling on that and what I'm seeing for the rain as we go forward. And then as we swing through the Caribbean, we've been seeing that surge of rain, Guyana and Suriname. Costa Rica, we've had some flooding here. And then on the flip side, toward the Eastern Caribbean, there's been some areas of flooding. While not too far away, way too dry water restrictions. I've been watching St. Vincent de Grenadines down through Trinidad. Plus, you get back towards Central America, we have a lot of wildfires. They're uh, pretty much uh, everywhere at this uh, point, uh, both uh, parts of the uh, Caribbean back through Central America. But Central America in particular, Honduras, Guatemala, huge fires. Now, we get back to the north. We're going to watch out for some severe weather in the U.S. And one system that's been rolling by uh parts of uh, New England will get close to the Atlantic region of Canada, so we'll get into that. But first thing is first, I want to take you step by step as we go through the forecast. This here in the Eastern Pacific, even the National Hurricane Center has up their chance of rain. We've been talking about this for about a week now, not up their chance of rain, but up their chance of development out of this to about a 40% chance of uh, development. I do believe we're going to see at least some development out of this. Maybe a little slower, may take some time into the weekend to develop, but with all this moisture here, I'm watching the ingredients in play for the first name system on the uh, Pacific side, at least Eastern Pacific. One, the water temperatures right in here, about 31 to 32 degrees Celsius, so running at about uh, uh, 88 to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is super warm, but the waters are just one thing. What's going on above the surface? That's a different thing. Uh, many of us have had dust around. Dust could kind of dust dry air, stable air can squash tropical development. And uh, I watched the winds up there. So here's a different map that I often show during the hurricane season. This red shading, that's very turbulent winds. Systems don't like to develop in those uh, turbulent winds. That's, that's the wind shear. But here's uh, the Yucatan of Mexico. Here's Belize. Here's Jamaica right in here. Cuba, Cayman Islands, just to kind of set the map for you. In this area here, the wind shear is pretty low. You see the blue shading here and even the uh, white? That's low wind shear. So that means the rain and storms will be able to bubble up. The winds won't come across and just knock off the showers and storms. So low wind shear and warm water temperatures. Those are two pretty big ingredients uh, that can help storms to develop. So that's what I'm seeing. And some more of the models kind of latching onto development. This is the American model, uh, the Canadian models uh, latching onto some development, and the European model hinting at that as well. Uh, but let, let's just take you out in time. This is tomorrow, and here's what's key. We've been so dry here. Now, for the most part with the development out of this, it's looking to stay just offshore, but it may stay close enough to the coast of Central America to at least spill over some rain. So this is by Saturday. Saturday, kind of bumping back the time a little bit, Saturday into Sunday, we could see signs of development. And if it's close enough to the coast, it may feed in some much needed rain to parts of extreme Southern Mexico, Guatemala, and maybe even close to uh, El Salvador. It's gonna be a close call on that. But you see here, this is Sunday. If this modeling is correct by Sunday, we may have a tropical depression uh, developing in which would bring some very uh, welcome rain. Of course, we don't want the flooding. Uh, there's always the flip side to these things, but it could bring some very essential rain to some places where we need it. That's why I'm going to continue to track this ever so closely. Now, going out four days, so this is later today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Here are the expected totals. You see Belize and Honduras. We're mainly on the dry side. Same thing, uh, Yucatan of Mexico. But this is the core of rain, and regardless of if it develops, into a name system or not, there should be at least some extra rain feeding in to parts of southern Mexico and over toward Guatemala. I'll keep an eye on El Salvador. Of course, Costa Rica and Panama, we've been wet. And there should be some extra rain for parts of uh, Nicaragua, at least in the western zones, so Pacific side, where we could get some totals of around 75 millimeters or three inches of rain could be higher. It just kind of depends on how much this creeps in. So it could be welcome news. Now, if this area does get a name 
game this weekend or early next week. Uh, the name on the list is Aletta. On the uh, Atlantic side, there is a different set of names, but Aletta, uh, that is the first name, then Bud and Carlotta after that. So looking at some of this rain uh, elsewhere, and now let me kind of uh, switch over to try to keep all of us covered. This here is, uh, as we work our way toward the southeastern Caribbean, here's Guyana and Suriname, here's Trinidad and Tobago, here's Grenada right here, Venezuela, Colombia back here. Now we're going to see additional rain. Guyana, uh, we could see four day rain totals of over 100 millimeters of rain in spots. Same thing, especially interior sections of Suriname. Now zooming down into Trinidad and Tobago, uh, as I've been showing you the last few days, we need some rain and we need it more to the north, but we're going to be on the edge of the rain. We'll at least have some spotty showers. That's what I'm seeing, especially tomorrow in through the weekend. Not all of us may get it. That's the bad thing. It's not widespread, so that's not ideal. We could use widespread rain now, but at least we have a shot. If we do get some rain, some spots, 25 millimeters of rain, we could get a couple spots getting closer to uh, 50 millimeters of rain. So the potential is at least there of one to two inches of rain through the upcoming weekend for some of us, and I'll keep very close, a very close eye on this because we need it. So I, I cover this area in depth. Nicaragua, you can see some of the rain today, Costa Rica and Panama. But watching here, we've dried out a lot. Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Jamaica, we're only looking at a spotty storm or two. Cuba, Cayman Islands, not a lot. Some of the smoke has been drifting in from Central America. But here's Guyana and Suriname tomorrow. And tomorrow, we could see a few showers moving in. Now, most of it does stay to the south. But in the southeastern Caribbean, as we work our way into the weekend, that's when we could see some spotty showers moving in. St. Lucia, we could get one or two. Barbados, it's not a high chance of rain. Northeastern Caribbean, we're mainly dry. Montserrat, we get over toward uh, St. Martin, uh, not much in the way of rain, but working our way Saturday into Sunday, a few more showers may try to feed into uh, Trinidad and Tobago. So yeah, rain chance, not really high, but at least we've got a shot. Now, let me switch over here. Uh, severe weather potential over toward Louisiana and Texas. As we get into late today, this evening, we could see uh, some uh, tornadic cells popping up here. So if you have any boating interest in the northern Gulf of Mexico, uh, watching out for some of that rocky weather. Moving into Friday, you see that surge of some rain and storms there lifting up toward the Tennessee River Valley. And uh, much of the uh, Caribbean, Bahamas, on the dry side. Southern sections, that's where we're going to see that better chance of rain uh, that will be with us. And then working our way into the weekend, you see more rain and storms into the uh, southeast U.S. South of that, Florida, back through the Bahamas. It is going to be very hot right into uh, Cuba. We've got some hot weather headed our way. Now, I mentioned that spin near New England today. We had some gusty winds early this morning over toward parts of Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts. This will try to lift toward Nova Scotia, but for the most part, the the, the main energy of this spin here would stay just to the south. That doesn't mean we uh, won't have breezy to windy conditions, but you see the core of that rain right there as we work our way into our Friday afternoon. Elsewhere, some spotty showers. Let me know how you're doing in uh, Newfoundland, back toward Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick. And you see here as we work our way from Friday into Saturday, uh, we'll be watching that next system bringing in some moisture here. As we get into Saturday, better chance of rain uh, getting closer to New Brunswick and uh, Nova Scotia. Now, uh, like I mentioned in Jamaica, isolated storm possible, 10 to 20% chance. Let me know how you're doing uh, throughout the uh, day in the next couple of days, Cayman Islands. Rain chance stays on the small side. Now, Trinidad and Tobago, the rain chance, it's not super high, but at least it's not zero. So uh, we need something, uh, 30 to 40% chance over the next few days in holding on to an even 30% chance of an isolated shower Barbados, 30% chance the next couple of days in St. Louis. Lucia. Grenada, rain chance 20 to 30 percent, 20 to 30 percent chance. I wish it was higher because we need it. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, it's not high at all. Martinique, rain chance 20 to 30 percent and a 30 percent chance of a passing shower in Dominica tomorrow. We get north of there, it's going to be even drier. Rain chance very small in Guadeloupe. Antigua and Barbuda, this is just very isolated stuff. 30 percent, 20 percent chance. St. Kitts, Nevis, 
and Montserrat. In the next couple days, Anguilla, St. Bart's, only a small chance of a passing shower. Holding at a 20% chance, St. Martin, Saban, Stacia leading into the upcoming weekend. Puerto Rico will get a little bump on Saturday. Some scattered storms possible, scattered showers possible on Saturday. Rain chance at 20% U.S. and British Virgin Islands and a 20% chance of a pop-up shower storm in the Dominican Republic. Haiti, we're looking at a 10 to 20% chance. It's lower, very dry, very hot, or at least very hot could see a shower too. Bahamas, few showers possible today. Overall rain chance about 20% tomorrow and Saturday. Turks and Caicos, we are mainly dry. And in Belize, watching the wildfires, the smoke around, the low air quality. Please keep me posted on what's going on where you live across Belize. Aruba, we're going to be uh, generally dry. Curacao, same thing. Rain chance 5, maybe 10% over toward uh, Bonaire. But Guyana, I was highlighting uh, Guyana and Suriname with that elevated chance of rain still with us watching out for some of those showers and we'll see how many feed to the north. Cuba, it is on the hot side. Rain chance 90% parts of Costa Rica, Panama and creeping into Nicaragua for today. Honduras, rain chance stays so very limited. 20% chance of a pop-up shower or storm. Yucatan and Mexico, northern Venezuela, 30% chance. And with those systems scooting by Bermuda, Bermuda, we have that higher chance of rain today and then gradually dropping off leading into the weekend. So monitoring the eastern Pacific for for the development of the first NEMA system of the season and tracking just how close some of that rain gets uh, to Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, flooding southern areas, watching Guyana, Suriname, Costa Rica, and Panama, and those water restrictions like we have in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the wildfires like we have in Honduras and Guatemala, so very much going on. Hurricane season on the Atlantic side, just days away, starting on June 1st. So thank you for sharing this information, hitting the subscribe button, and I hope you have a good and safe rest of your day.